Hello, everybody. How are you? Guess where I am. Oh, I'm so happy to be here. It's been nice to be home sometimes. But do you want to see? It's our classroom, room 118 at Cesar Chavez, Fresno Adult School. The class is all cleaned up and looking nice. Maybe we will be returning in January, I hope. No, that's only like two months. Yes. So I wanted to take a walk with you. And we're going to take a book walk. What is a book walk? Well, we're just gonna check out some different books. The focus of this video is to show you some different books and encourage you, say, come on, come on, come on, to go online to the library, the Fresno County Library website. Maybe I can post a link. Um, maybe in the newsletter and maybe in this video. I don't know. I'm still learning with you. I don't know everything, but I keep trying and I know you are trying to. Everybody is doing a great job. I'm so happy to see you in classes. I'm so happy to see your studying and your homework. Which brings me to a point. One of um, you we're saying, teacher, the homework is hard and sometimes it's difficult for me. I'm working. Guys, I understand. I really, really understand. And please remember the homework is an invitation. Okay? You are invited to participate in the projects and the homework. But you make the choice. Invitation. The homework is an invitation. Okay. So, if you have time, if you can, do it. If you like to, share with the class. We love to see your countries, your chapolines. That's the name, right? <laughs> Um, your beautiful pictures, your cakes, your children. It's so nice. I'm thinking I'm going to take your information and put it in one document so everybody can see. What do you think? I think it's a good idea. But I need your permission first. So we're going to take a book walk. You ready? Come on. Okay, we're going to stay here. Um, the book I'm going to read to you today is You Can Do It, Pout Pout Fish. Um, but first, I wanted to show you things that I have, that the library has too, is books in different languages. So we have English and Spanish. How do you say? Como se dice? We'll look at a couple pages here. Good day. Buenos dias. We got friends. Amigos. So I w we were talking before. Great way to learn your English. Practice your English. Read with your family by yourself. You can look online, pick books, and then go pick them up. Free. I have for my Arabic students. I love to share. I got some books in Arabic, so it's English and Arabic but I don't know how to read it. But I have my little notes from my Arabic teacher. Marhaban. Masalama. Shukran. Shukran for coming to class and participating. That means gracias. Thank you. Look at this book. My weird school. School is kind of weird right now, huh? We're going to school and the phone, the computer, and, uh, but you are all students. And the chairs and the desk 
are waiting for you and they miss you. <laughs> so look, there's books about the rainforest. Beautiful pictures. <gasps> Have you ever seen a toucan? I've seen one before in the forest. Nature search. So you can think about some things you like. You can read. <gasps> Is that Chapolinas? <laughs> oh my goodness, the birds and the monkeys and the hummingbirds and snakes and frogs. Where's those Chapolinas? I'm gonna eat one. But these are fun to read with your family or just to learn more. Think about what you like and look for in the book. I learned in Spanish one day when my students was reading this, it could have been worse. Pudiera ser peor, something like that. But I thought that was a cool phrase. Oh, could have been stung by a bee, huh? We, if you like studying about people or learning about people, a hundred people in history. We got Einstein and Mahatma Gandhi and Nelson Mandela, Elvis. So you can learn about little people. There's one page for every person. So that's kind of cool. Lots of different people. You got your chapter books. Maybe you like a movie and you can get books about the movie. Oh, this is one of my favorites. Coco getting ready. Maybe I'll read it next week before Dia de los Muertos about Coco. Oh, it's so good and special. Some books have no words, but you create a story in your mind. So this is called, which way can you read it? This way? The Red Book. So it's a story. And when you have little children and little babies, and they can read. You can read the picture. Maybe we're thinking New York. Maybe we're thinking snow, buildings. And then you create the story. The little boy is walking on the street. There's snow. <gasps> he sees or she sees a book. Picks up the book. She's thinking about the book. So lots of ways you can read and learn and practice. Maybe you like pirates. There's funny books, silly books, animals, sea otters. Maybe you like to go to Morro Bay or Pismo Beach and you see these little guys. There's very simple books to help you read. Sam Sat. Matt ran. These are called Bob's books. Bob. But, hey, where'd my book go? My pout pout fish. Here we go. I want to tell everybody, excellent job coming to class. You are doing so good. I hope you are well, and I hope you are taking time to relax, take care of yourself, do something you like, and give yourself big hugs and your families. So I want to tell you congratulations and good job for coming to class. And you can do it. You can do it. And you are doing it. So it was a big idea. Oh, mm -hmm. Mr. Fish was about to pout. Pout is like this. Hmm. Then he had an idea. I got to read it. It was a big idea. It was a fun idea. I can do it, said Mr. Fish. What do you think his idea is? May I help? Asked Miss Clam. No, said Mr. Fish. He did not need any help. Okay. I'm Mrs. Clam, okay? So I say, can I help? <laughs> May I help? Asked Mr. Eight. No, said Mr. Fish. He did not need any help. Ooh, you remember this? Did not. So 
from our Unit 9 past. May I help? Asked Ms. Squid. No, said Mr. Fish. He did not need any help. He swam away. He worked. And he worked. And he worked. Our pronunciation here in the past. Worked. But his idea did not work. Mm. I can't do it, said Mr. Fish. He felt alone and sad. Yes, you can do it, said his friend. You just need a little help. Mr. Fish and his friends swam away together. They worked and they worked and they worked. Do you do this when you work sometimes? I do. Ta-da! Oh, he made a picture of his friends all together. What a great idea, said his friends. Mr. Fish. Smiled. What great friends, he said. No pout about it. I am here to help you. I am your friend. You have your friends in your class. And sometimes coming to class is difficult, and I understand. Um, sometimes work is so difficult, and I understand. And your homework is difficult, too, sometimes, and I understand. So thank you for your communication. Um, please ask for help. I want to help you, and I'm here for you. Um, <laughs> have a good weekend. Bye.